look at a couple of different ways that you can <clears throat> find an integral on your TI Inspire. The one of the they're both pretty easy actually. Uh, one of the ways you're going to do it is you're just going to click this little <clears throat> symbol button here that shows all the different groupings. Actually, you want to open a new document. Don't save what's left. And then we're going to go ahead and add a calculator. And then we're going to crack, click on the groupings. And if I could get everything to work right here. Here we go. And we're going to just choose the integral one. i got to get rid of that guy. And once you choose the integral one, it gives you the template. You just populate in the numbers that you need and tab through the rest. And then whatever variable you used that you're taking the integral of, you just go ahead and use it here and then hit enter and it gives you your answer. The other thing that you could do is you could graph it, graph the same function. So we would graph the function 3x squared minus 7x plus 2. And then when we analyze that, uh, go ahead and hit the menu key, choose Analyze, and then we would want to take the integral 7. And we can type in our lower bound 1. And we could type in our upper bound of 4. And so then there's your, there's your answer. It puts everything together for you. So it's the same. Gives you the same answer as uh, this guy did. So that's how, that's how you can do it on your TI Inspire graphing calculator. It's, it's really simple.